Let's go now to Jim Cantori, who's in Dallas. And Jim, how difficult was it for you to get to your live shot this morning? Uh, you know what, Al? We actually lucked out. We planned ahead yesterday. We, we sought out this location here at the Hyatt. It is basically we can walk to it. We don't have to drive. That was one of the things that went into our strategy. We wanted to get to a place where we did not have to drive because you can see the roads behind me. Now, I will say this. They are passable. All right, you can see this car, or the truck actually moving right along pretty well. They are passable, and I'm going to thank the 80 degree temperatures that we had uh, last week. But if you look at this too, we've also had quite a combination of sleet and freezing rain, in some cases adding up to about two and a quarter of inches here. You see these little ice pellets. They don't accumulate on the power lines, but unfortunately, it's been mixing with freezing rain. As we look up here, you can see it on the signs. You can see the ice just kind of hanging there where we've gotten uh, probably about a tenth to a quarter of inch of accretion. So what I mean by that is, is you know, the, the actual amount of the ice that's from the metal downward uh, or windward side, if you will, that's where we've gotten the ice accumulated. So that's not that bad. We can see power as far as the eye can see here, but there have been numerous flashes off to my north, including thunder sleet as well. Uh, as we've had reports, we've seen lightning showing up on the detection. To recap for you, eight Hundred flights in and out of Dallas now are canceled. We've got about 80,000 without power, a lot of them here around the Metroplex and across North Texas. 800 schools have been closed. So big, big uh, plans here again going by the wayside on Friday. Also, Al, the huge Children's Medical Center parade that was scheduled for tomorrow uh, has been canceled. That's the first time in 26 years that that's happened.